Trying to make something interesting? Why not a greeting card with a sliding pull tab spinner? I'll show you how. Hello! Thanks for watching Square Type, the channel showcasing easy to follow pop up card tutorials and demo videos. I'm gonna do a demo video here because it's really just a variation on the pull tab spinner, except it has a slider. I'm gonna start with a piece of cardstock. You can certainly build this card by itself with just this cardstock, or you can install it into an existing card, greeting card. So I've got my cardstock here. I'm going to cut two pieces of paper that are the same size as the greeting card that I'm gonna use, but certainly you can just make it stand alone. Um, the slider is actually going to be um, built on one of these pieces of papers, and um, the second piece is just the backing to, to um, the first piece. Um, the next pieces are essentially the spinner itself, and the spinner, actually, um, I'm not going to go through step by step for you on making the spinner because I've already covered that in a previous video. The tutorial link to that is up above and down below in the description field. Um, here, I'm just going to cut out a slip of paper. Uh, this is the only difference between um, the spinner in the previous um, video and this one, is that I'm making the hole inside of this strip of paper as opposed to onto the card itself. Because the spinner is going to be on this strip of paper, I'm calling the collar, um, as opposed to being on the card. It's not going to be attached to the card, it's going to be on the collar. Um, the next few pieces are really um, the spinner pieces, and they are the ring, the hub cap, and the hub. Again, if you're getting lost right here, go ahead and check out the um, tutorial video up above and down below. There's a link in the description field um, and it'll show you step by step, really slowly, on how to make the spinner. Um, but essentially, that's what I'm making here on this per first part of this video, is just the spinner and it's just visually just a review for you to see. Um, if you've also noticed, I've, I'm using a very small hole. Um, the hole I'm using is really a hole punch for like your binder paper. Um, I wanted to use that because it cuts a really smooth hole. And um, also I just wanted to show you a very small hole um, because that would require, um, actually that would create a lot of spin, a lot of revolutions on the wheel. And um, in the previous videos, I've been using um, bigger size um, holes, and it only did like one or two spins. So here I'm, I'm tying my string. I'm actually winding my string around the hub flaps. I'm winding it counterclockwise. That way, when you pull the pull tab, the object is going to spin clockwise. So that's just a good tip for you to know. And I've just attached the ring to the um, to the uh, the collar and lined up the holes and now I'm going to attach my hub cap. Once that's on, I'm just going to test the spin on the spinner, spin on the wheel, just kind of checking the tension. And once I've got that going, the spinner is done. So the next part of the video is now going to be about the slider, and that's what really this video is about is about the slider. So you take your pull tab and you put it on your piece of paper here and you're just marking out the sides of that pull tab so you know where it's going to sit inside of the card. Then you're going to make a notch on one side of that like this and that notch is really for your finger so you can get a purchase on that pull tab and you can pull it. And then I'm about one centimeter in from that notch I'm going to put um, a line. And the purpose of the line is so the pull tab can um, ride along the, um, the slot and it can actually pass through through the front of the card. You'll see it later, but essentially you want to make a slot, um, a slot line right here for the pull tab. And since I'm here already, I'm going to go ahead and make another line up on top on the other side of the card, um, and I'm going to call it the channel top. It's about one centimeter in from the edge of the card right there. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the pull tab slot and the notch for my finger. There it is. That way you know that that's what they are. <laughs> and then um, this is where the collar will slide along. These two channel lines right here, that's where the collar that um, with the hole and the slider on it, that's where it will slide along. So make a channel bottom. It's about one centimeter up from the slot that you just cut out. And then you can take your razor or X-Acto knife and cut two slots from the channel top to the channel bottom. So just cut along those two lines from the channel top line to the channel bottom line. Just make sure you don't cut it all the way down to your um, pull tab slot that you already cut because you want there to be a little bit of a gap there. So see, that's what it looks like. Okay, center the, the spinner on the pull tab and then fold the, the collar down so that the collar can be inserted into those slots like that and then it can wrap around the back like that. Okay, next you wanna anchor down the string. So just take a piece of paper and then cut it so that it fits inside of the area that's right below the, um, the pull tab slot. This one's too fat, so I'm gonna thin this out a little bit. See how it fits like right there, right below that um, slot between the channel lines and the slot? That's what you want. And then you're going to cut a little bit of a slit, a little notch at the top of that anchor. And then you're going to take your string and pass it through from the front of the card through that um, slot and to the back of the card like this. Okay. Now you're going to cut a little slit like a little notch inside of that um, pull tab slot like right in the middle and that little slim little slit is going to serve as a guide it kind of hangs on to the string a little bit and that way you can wrap the string around your anchor and also through the notch on the anchor and when you wrap it around just kind of be tight um, on the anchor itself. Don't worry about the rest of the string. Just wrap it around about four times, four or five times. Put glue on one side and then glue it down in its place. Then you can cut off the tail and now it's attached. It's attached to the card and you just have to attach the other side now. But oh, look, my, um, my collar is way too tight. The collar is actually not moving. It's I, I folded the folds really tightly and they're right up against the paper right now and there's not enough room for the thing. There's, it's causing too much friction. So the best thing to do is just loosen that up a little bit. Just move your fold lines over so that it's loose. Because um, I notice with this mechanism, the spinner gets really um, aggravated <laughs> when um, when there's a lot of friction around it. And that's why I had to have it floating on a collar up above the card. Um, so you also want the collar to be nice and loose around the pull tab. So see how it can shake now because it's loose? That's what you want. Okay, so I'm just gonna push this back and forth to show you that it's um, actually moving. See that? See that it's, it's a lot looser. Um, and it can move back and forth pretty well. So that's what you want, a loose collar. Okay, so now I can finish off attaching the, um, the string. So I'm going to push it all the way to one side, to the side that's already anchored down, and then I'm just going to tape the, tape the mechanism down onto itself and flip it over, tape it to the table, and now um, I can attach the other side of the string. I just cut a little notch right in the middle there and then I'm taking another piece of paper, make sure it fits at the top there and it doesn't hit any of those slots. And then I just cut out a little notch on the anchor itself and I'm gonna take the string, um, 
I put glue on the, I went ahead and just glued the anchor and now I can wind the string around the loose side of the anchor before I press the whole thing down to attach. So that's it. Now the string is all attached. I can move all of my, my um, tape and now I can just attach my pull tab. So putting the pull tab through from the back, through that pull tab slot, I can put glue onto the other side of the pull tab, like this, and then glue down my collar, just wrapping it around the back side of the pull tab, and then gluing the collar closed. And that's it. Now you can attach the backing to this. Um, in my case, I'm gonna attach it to the card. So one thing I don't like about um, putting this on a card is that the color and pattern of my my green thing here is different from the inside of the card so I'm gonna take the other piece of paper that I cut out earlier and I'm gonna glue it onto the card so it camouflages that channel you know those two channels it's white on the inside because so, you can see the background but I'm gonna camouflage it with this other paper and now I feel a little bit better about it and then I can just glue the, the backing onto that and then I just trimmed my um, my pull tab um, flush with the card except in my case I forgot to cut out the notch on the back of the card before I attached it so uh, don't make that mistake this is a little bit hard. I had to turn off the camera and um, cut it a few times, but it finally worked out. But I did get the notch to work, see? And now my finger can get a purchase on that pull tab on the back and the thing can spin. Uh, the rest of it is just gluing my object to the spinner and then um, really just a lot more embellishment is what's needed. And I'm gonna leave that part up to you, but leave a comment down below and. Uh, like or dislike my video, share this video with your friends if you found it interesting, and subscribe to my channel so you don't lose track of me. Check out my other videos on Square Type. All of these things are really just um, either my ideas or me trying other people's things. So um, they're kind of fun, right? <laughs> Let me know. Bye!